My name is Will T, and I was a Chief Warrant Officer. I was deployed to Syria in 2017 and 18. We were deployed to Syria when we met Mito, and we met her one night while we were out feeding dinner scraps to the stray animals uh, around our installation. And uh, she was just a little kitten at that point, and she came up and uh, took a snack from us and ended up following us back to our house where uh, she promptly never left again, made herself right at home. Meat dough became so important to us because she showed up at the darkest time for our unit. We had just lost one of our pilots and his death really gutted the whole unit. Morale was low, everybody was sad. And then she showed up and really brought some levity to our whole situation. She always wanted to play or cuddle and she really just put a smile on everybody's face and uh, helped us through a dark time uh, in a way that sometimes only an animal can. We knew Mito would have a terrible life if we left her behind in that situation. We had seen strays come and go, uh, whether it was getting in fights with other strays or being attacked by the dogs. Uh, we just knew that being a stray in that situation uh, was going to be a terrible existence for her. And it was just something that we couldn't accept. Then we heard through the grapevine about this organization, the SPCAI, who would be willing to help us get our cat out of a war zone. And at first, it seemed too hard to believe that there were people who would go through all that work to do that. Uh, but as soon as we spoke to them and we realized that they were going to help us, we were just elated. Uh, we were very excited that we were gonna be able to bring our cat home with us. So the people at the SPCA International are just incredible people. They have huge hearts and the lengths that they go to to help out people like me and my pets like Mito is just incredible. Uh, so I say thank you to them and everybody who supports them.